Now, moving on to understand what is globalization. We have been discussing from the topic entrance itself what is globalization. The fundamental question what is globalization? We have discussed about the MNCs. The MNCs prime motto is to identify the places from where the actual production cost can be reduced, actual availability of the skilled and the unskilled labor at very less cost, the manufacturing production available at very less cost, the government policies fetching for us at very less cost. So an MNC is a company which looks at the most viable opportunities for the company's development in terms of economy and to get available at the cheapest possible rate raw materials at the cheapest possible rate or economy uh, skilled labor at the cheapest level of expenditure production manufacturing at the lowest level so the raw material the skilled people the production manufacturers the customer support services marketing all these cannot be brought up under a single umbrella because some skilled people are located employment is in US while the manufacturers at very less cost are in China while coming to the customer support we have in India while moving on to get the fixation of the parts or assembling of the skilled parts and all in the Eastern European countries like Germany and all these countries where there are different different corners of the world the MNC would try to establish their factories or units at different different corners of the world to get the work done at the least possible cost this establishing of an interlink between different countries via through trade or through interconnectedness or through financial flow or through products flow is known as globalization so globalization is nothing but it is a process which integrates the connectionness interconnectedness between different countries it can be one country to another country one country to many countries many countries brought in integration with one country whatever it is the countries do not get interacted directly the government of USA the government of China the government of India the government of Germany would not interact directly the company called X which is an MNC would establish its offices in US in India in China and in Germany well this all countries products what they need would be brought into interconnectedness that is how the countries are brought into connection it is not an official connection what we talk of diplomatic relations we are not stressing on the diplomatic relations or the foreign relations of any two countries we are actually talking of the private companies which establish their factories at different parts of the world and interlink the output products of all the outstation product factory outlets and finally get the final product output so the private MNCs are playing a very vital role in the spread of globalization so globalization is a process of rapid integration between two countries or many countries globalization has been brought widely spread by the MNCs because the MNCs main motto is to make the things available at less and the less cost so they try to establish their offices wherever there is a possibility or a chance to get the products at very very less cost now earlier some decades ago also we had the interactions between the people but those interactions are different from this globalization people used to travel from one country to another country in search of better opportunities in search of betterment of their life standards in search of earning better incomes for their life but now people are not moving so rapidly as it has done in the previous decades now due to various restrictions 
the companies are moving across the world and establishing their units and then they are integrating the output products through globalization that is globalization so to conclude globalization is a system of process through which the different countries are brought together in interlinking not via government connections through informal connections by the private companies so called mnc's if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus